So for this, I'm going to combine the fractions inside and then break the square root, right? So square root of x plus 1 over square root of x dx. And just like what we said earlier, I'm going to let u equal square root of x. And then this right here gives us x equals u squared and dx will be 2u du. And for this right here, x plus 1 will be u squared plus 1. And then we just take the square root on both sides. So now we have all these ingredients. All right, integral. The top is that square root of u squared plus 1. The bottom square root of x is our u. And then dx is that which is 2u du. This and that cancel. Pretty nice. And we are looking at 2 times the integral of square root of u squared plus 1 in the u world. Now, I will say for the trick stuff for this right here, it's slightly easier. I'm going to see that because we have the sum of two squares, we'll be using tangent. Yes. So I'm going to let u equal tangent theta. du will be the derivative of that, which is secant squared theta d theta. And now, for this video, I'm going to do a lot of things in your head, all right? Because if you need like more practice, you can watch the first 100 integral. So for this right here, let's see. We will have 2 times the integral. When we put tangent theta in here, tangent squared plus 1 secant squared, inside of the square root will give us secant. And again, we don't need to worry about the absolute value. We are just purely doing this for the definite integral. So for this part, will give us secant theta. And then du is secant squared theta d theta. Ah, very nice. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to tell you, right here we have 2, that's good. And then the integral of secant theta times secant theta is of course secant to a third power. And guess what? We did that in the previous 200 integral already. <laughs> so, I will tell you guess what the answer is. That's 1 half secant theta tangent theta plus 1 half ln absolute value secant theta plus tangent theta, like so. Not done yet. First off, 2 and the 1 half, they cancel. So we have the secant theta, tangent theta, and all that. And we will have to go back to the u world, and then we have to go back to the x world. So it depends on how you want to do it. You can go back to the x world right away. I'll show you guys how to do that. If you want to take two steps, that's fine too. OK, look at this. We know that tangent theta is equal to u, so we can say tangent theta equals u over 1. Better yet, u is square root of x. So right here, I'm just going to change the u to square root of x. And then based on this, we can draw a right triangle, put the right angle here, and then the angle theta here. Tangent is opposite over adjacent. And for the hypotenuse, we will have square root of this thing squared, which is 1 plus this thing squared, right? So we have square root of x and then square. So technically, let's just do one square. So this right here is in fact just square root of 1 plus x. Now we are ready to go back to the x world. Ladies and gentlemen, we will have secant theta, which is hypotenuse over adjacent. So that's just square root of 1 plus x. Next. Tangent theta is this over that, so just square root of x. And then we add. Again, 1 half and 2 cancel, and the rest is pretty much the same thing. So ln absolute value. But you know what? This and that will have square root, so we don't need the absolute value. Parentheses is OK. So we have square root of 1 plus x plus square root of x. And what's that? We are done. So put a plus c. Yay. Yeah. And of course, if you would like to multiply this inside, but I think I will just leave it to like this.